Excuse me, ladies and gents. I've got some free banana bread. <laughs> We're like you, darling, some brave people. Yeah, what do I mean? They, they, they... On up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think about that? <laughs> two words, two words. Oh, okay. So we're here in. Um, well, we've got uh, we've got the uh, hardcore music going over here, and that's because what's going on politically in this country is pretty hardcore. We're here in the Perth Mall, and we're going to ask people what they think about the digital ID. We're just going to big open question. What do you know about it? What do you think about it? Uh, looks like it's uh, fait accompli as far as the government's concerned. So we'll just see what the what the populace who voted for these maniacs uh, actually think. So let's go. Everyone's on the phone. Hey guys, could I ask you a quick question? Oh yeah. We're just filming a video for YouTube. Oh. Very simple question. What's with the digital ID as far as you're concerned? Digital IDs? Yeah. I think it's useless. I think uh -huh. we should have proper ones right here. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> sure. So what, just rely on the phone? No, no, never oh. rely on technology. Yeah, yeah. It's useless. So I take it that you're looking at it kind of negatively, the digital ID? Um, In some cases, it's all right. I reckon it's mm -hmm. quite easier, like bank stuff. But sure. I don't think it should be a... Uh, well, yeah. yeah, like they're saying it's not mandatory. Do you... Do you do you think that's true? No. <laughs> no. What about you? In all the ATMs. Yeah, yeah. Over. Do you think... Yeah, you agree yeah. as well, yeah. So you just think it's like a money... Yes. ...power thing. It's, yeah. it's not really going to help us. It's a control us. thing. It's a control thing. Yeah. Very interesting. Look, thanks so much for your right. time. Excuse me, ladies and gents. I've got some free banana bread as a prize for answering a quick question for YouTube. What do you reckon? No, you can still have a free banana bread. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. I'm good. All right. I'm really good. All right. No worries. All right, have a good one. Cheers. He's got a YouTube channel called Max Freedom. Max Freedom, I've seen it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? Would you like to... Oh, we've just got one very big open-ended question. open -ended. And you don't need to answer it if you don't like it. Okay. It's what do you think... What are your thoughts on the digital ID bill that's just passed the Senate? Know anything about it? Nothing. Yeah. I don't know nothing about it. No, they're not, they're not broadcasting it too much. But yeah, so it looks like it will come in and that's, that could lead to digital currency, social credit system, uh, that sort of thing, you know, programmable currency so that you can't... Uh, not according to the government. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so it'll all have to be digital and all approved by them and, and, and if you were naughty, you, your money just wouldn't work even if you had some. <laughs> We're relying on Jehovah God. Sure, sure. All right. Bring about the, his kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's what this is all about. Well, thank you. I know. Yeah. I know your uh, your core is to try and let other people know so yeah, that you yeah. can you can help them out. Yeah. And I do respect that, you guys. The silent um, witness here. Yeah. Yeah. Silent. Why? Yeah. Well, thanks for all the work you do. Right. Okay. Thanks for stopping. <laughs> and maybe have a look into it because yeah, they they'll sneak it if they can. Have a look into this thing. I will. Okay. <laughs> thank you. I will. Thank you so much. Cheers. I love you, darling. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are you hungry? We've just got some gifts we're giving out of banana bread. You want a banana bread? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we. Uh, yeah, we. Uh, we film things about uh, 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 what's going on politically, and uh, he's got a channel called Max Freedom, and we just talk about political issues. Can I ask you a question? This is a bit loud. Is it too loud? Okay. So with today, all we're asking about is digital ID. What do you think? Oh, no way. No way. Not for me. Yes. I, I would like to not be connected on the internet because I don't know what yeah. they will do. So yeah, yeah. It won't and be when everything's tied together, your money, everything's tied under the digital ID. And they're saying now it's going to be mandatory. It's not mandatory, they're saying. Oh, no. But I remember when they said this wasn't mandatory either. Yeah. Oh, do you remember? Yes, no way, because 
it is, we can never be safe uh, uh, on the internet. You see, no. we got so much scam going on. Yeah, so no, no way. Everything up to it. Yeah, no way, no way. And we have to stand for our rights. That yeah, yeah, the government are there because we put them there. So At the last census, the government before the census night, I emailed them to tell them they were going to be hacked. But they said, no, we can't be hacked. The next day, their story was that they were hacked. Do you think all, all our data is going to be hacked again? Yeah, so we never know. See, so no way are we going to allow that. Yes. So go for it. <laughs> Thank you. Go Aussie spirit, yeah. Aussie, Aussie. Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. oi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nonconformity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, darling. You want peace, we don't want war. No. It's all geared to war, no matter which way you go. People, politicians, they are in their glass tower, yeah. and who are the, the young people go and get killed? No way. Yeah. Always more and more and more. Oh, no way. And there's people, lots of people on the streets in Australia now, rough, roughing it, and they're still sending money to Ukraine and all the wars. That just gets sent to Raytheon. It doesn't get sent to Ukraine. No. Oh, we want peace. We need peace, yeah. and we don't. So that we we don't have any we, those who have mental problem can be looked after properly. They they need a medication. They need rehabilitation. They need houses. So keep the money here for Aussie. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And what a beautiful message. Thank you so much. We need more people like you, darling. So brave people to spread the love. Let's get ready for peace, not get ready for war. No, we want yeah love. Yeah. Love. Yeah. Thank you very much, darling. Digital ID. Digital ID? Yes. So in this country, your travelers? Yeah. Yeah. So in this country, they're just about to bring a digital ID so that you probably can't do anything unless you kind of scan on or do something, you know. Well, they haven't told us much, but it's something that you like to have a bank account, you would need a digital ID. Uh, it's like a, a, a all your digital? no all your all your data and everything's not in one central spot uh, that can be accessed. You know, it's and they they they're hooking it up to facial recognition. I'm sure you see these cameras everywhere. Yeah. I'm sure you've loved being on holiday, being filmed yeah. the whole time. Yeah, uh, we don't like, like it. it. No. Yeah. I, it's really good for tourism, I think, to film all the tourists when they come over here all the time. Yeah, so this kind of thing, facial recognition, they'll know who you are. It's like Ch there's a social credit system in China. Yeah. It's going that way. I don't know what country you're from, but is it going to France? Yeah. It's going the same over there. You can't talk about a vaccine injury now or something. Yeah. 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 We don't like it at all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Okay. We are more like woods people, you know, like yeah. beach life. So ah, yes. Paper. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's so, so, totally, totally, yeah. Okay, so I any ideas how to get out of this kind of digital world that we're being sucked into? I mean, I think we all have to burn our phones. Are you going to be able to do that? Because you're, you're a lot younger than me. Passport and yeah, phones. Everything. And... Are you prepared to do that? No. No. No, 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 no. Yeah, so you want to stay? Because then you can't do anything. You can't buy a house. You can't interact with all the normal things. But you're not, you're not a prisoner, that's the good thing about it. But uh, that's what it would take, I think. But I, I, I don't know, I'm just surmising. Yeah, yeah I'm, quite, I'm quite ready. I'm waiting for it, actually. Ah, uh, yes, to cut up your passport. Yes, everything. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, sorry to interrupt, but thanks for sharing a little bit. Have a great stay. It's a smile for the cameras, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of love. What do you think about, what are your thoughts on, are you worried about, is it great? The digital ID. What do you think about the digital ID? I don't know anything about it. Nothing about it? No. Have you heard of it? No. Only on, uh, Only on news. No, on comedy shows like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's that one? Yeah, about uh, uh, National Building Authority. Oh, okay, yep, yep. Uh, oh. yeah, they had a digital ID <laughs> one. Okay, so. Uh, it went the way of all bloody political things like that. Yeah, they? yeah. Well, they, they seem pretty keen on it now because they want to hook it up to all these facial recognition cameras they've got. What do you reckon? I, I, I won't sign up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they might, they might find out about me past. Oh, well, that's it. Well, 
They're saying it's not mandatory, but they've said a lot of things weren't mandatory. Hey, so yeah, what's the point of it? If everyone, yeah. But if uh, Peter Dutton's behind it, it's going to be useless for a start. No, it's the Labor Party. The Labor Party yeah. want it. Shock, yeah. shock yeah. horror. They've gone full communism. <laughs> they need to watch the Utopia episode. Yeah, about. You know, it's totally that. <laughs> it's totally Utopia. Yeah. Except I think they got stuff done in Utopia. At least they wanted to get stuff done. <laughs> uh, that was probably the difference. Look, thanks for the laugh, Jets. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll make what. The Labor Party's behind it. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, what's that? The lady who, Jackie Gallagher? She's. Huh? Katie Gallagher. Yeah, she's. Uh, she had a brain fart. Yeah, she was the mansplaining one. Now she's into uh, yeah, telling people that nobody was forced to do anything and now this won't be mandatory either. But I don't trust them as far as I can throw them, obviously, but that's just me. I don't want to infect anyone else with my cynicism. Well, it's very disappointing to hear. It is, isn't it? Very disappointing. Yeah. I, th I thought they had more respect for uh, us humans. Well, they, they got in... The pilot proletariat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they got in saying cheaper electricity. It, yeah. it appears they got votes for that. That'll come. That'll oh, come. Oh, will it? <laughs> <laughs> but they seem to have then gone off on this whole other agenda of the voice to parliament, of Ukraine, sending money to Ukraine, of now this digital ID. Anyway, I, it's... <laughs> Thanks, Jets. Utopia. Festival. Yes, yeah, Utopia. <laughs> Really appreciate your time, eh? Okay. Keep smiling, guys. Thank you. Oh, did you want a banana bread? Okay. <laughs> We've got some little prizes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, banana bread for everyone. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys. Cheers. Well, that's it. He thought it'd be a right-wing, um, you know, thing to be putting digital ID on everyone, but no, it's the left. And I keep saying it's fascism is a left thing. I'm getting good answers, but I'm not getting good uh, banana bread uh, handing out. Popo, hey, you got time to answer a couple of questions? Uh, all, good, mate. all right, busy. no worries, good luck. Uh, YouTube, Max Freedom, uh, we're just asking a very open-ended question, digital ID, thoughts? No comment. No comment, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, no worries. Doesn't sound good though, does it? <laughs> hey guys, if you don't mind, I'm just asking people about cashless and digital ID. We, oh, we don't have the time that's right cool, now. that's cool. Sir, could I ask you a quick question? Yeah. Digital ID. I thought yes, yes. Yes. Correct. Uh, just open-ended. I'm, I'm a bit techie. I'm yes. a Gen Xer, so I'm a believer in technology. I'm a bit ambivalent about how much investment would go into it. I don't think it would make us any more vulnerable necessarily. It would be really convenient. It would uh, be. Yeah. But however, however, um, you know, with quantum encryption and stuff that's coming, it could be done so it was bulletproof. Sure. I know Estonia has done it and had great success with it. Um, I know the last uh, uh, census we had yes. didn't go too well. In fact, the official line was they got hacked. That's right. So that <laughs> concerns me if it's run by the Australian government. I mean, MyGov hasn't had a lot of problems, sure. admittedly. Well, it is um, going to be MyGov ID. Yeah. So, uh, look, as I say, ambivalent. I, I think that with most people, a lot of people, I still service computers and the password is mydog01 or their birth date, or their daughter's name, and it's on a little sticky bit of pad on the computer. So It's I'd, the same in the government department, it's just like right. utopia. The people doing the encryption. So look, I, yeah, I'm open to it. Um, I think it's going to be, it's the future, but I think with two-factor encryption stuff, we can manage it now, right. but it would have to be done well. Yeah. And what about the other side of things, which isn't so much a security issue other than the kind of social credit score? the way seems seems to be going yeah when uh, i would be dead against the chinese model of help an old lady across the road and i get a couple of credits so i get a discount on my health insurance or sure, something sure. that's ugly well because i'd like to help the old lady across the road anyway and that's real big brother stuff yeah. But, yeah. well they're phasing out atms they're phasing out branches they're making it now i've found they're making cash illegal they're, effectively they're, you know they're not banning it but yeah. they're making it so you just can't spend it yeah. you know what they're doing <laughs> is they're forcing us to use cryptocurrency or an alternative without realising it and I mean I think that's, version. I think that's a good thing like, but um, a lot of us 
you know, I feel like a bandit for using cash quite often, you know, and it's become so hard to get, it's crazy, you know. But, yeah, look, I'm a supporter of technology in general. Oh, sir. No worries. Yeah, I'm a, definitely a supporter of technology where possible. Yeah. But as we know, our experience with government implementing these things uh, and big business, because they've done, done things on the cheap, they've scared a lot of people. And I know heaps of people will hear digital ID and run the other way. And that's a shame because there's a huge world that could be used, yeah. like Estonia. I reference Estonia, you know. And they've had the Russians trying to bully them and stop them doing it and they've still done really well so it can be done right. yeah well thank you so much Cheers. for your time and Cheers. insight you're yeah. a champion thanks yeah. brother yeah what do you think about cashless though watch out brother cash huh? yeah <laughs> sorry so using credit card or cash well, mm -hmm. like if they told you you had to use it's a tough question it's uh it's just a modern society i think yeah. nothing that we can really do we have to accept it yeah, probably cash was uh, the old way. The old good way was uh, something more yeah, yeah. direct between the customer and the app. It's okay. Do you think this new system is taking us a bit too far, like to the social credit system, like China, where everything has in, been in some way? Obviously, I'm not an expert, but yeah, in some yeah. way, it's uh, a little yeah. Bit I, I think so. I think so. We are just a part of a big business that we can really understand. And we really can't affect? Can we affect? Sure. Can we get out or no? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. And that's why we have to accept it. Sure, sure. All right. Well, look, thanks, brother, for uh, talking You're to welcome. me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hey, sorry to interrupt. I'm just asking uh, people on the street about digital ID. Got any thoughts? Digital ID. I don't know too much about it, to be uh, honest. Nobody yeah, seems to know much yeah. about it. They just it went through the uh, Senate last week and it's about to go through the House of Reps. Yeah, so it just means, good. yeah, just another step towards everything being controlled by the government, I suppose. Yeah, very much. I don't know much to about No worries. So. That's Sorry, all right. I just uh, so saying hi to people. Thanks. No, you're good, mate. Good afternoon. You too. But digital ID, I don't know. Is, is AI going to run that? I guess so. I guess it will, yeah. Well, I'll rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Dan. You have a good time. You too, man. Cheers. So the the open-ended question we're asking, this is for YouTube, is digital ID. Know anything about it? No, not really. No, I don't know much about it either, but I'd like to know more. They're being pretty quiet about it. It could be linked to a digital currency. It could be linked to, like, uh, biometrics. It could be linked to, like, social credit system if they... Want to turn it that way? Do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing. <laughs> sure, bad yeah. Thing, bad thing. yeah. I think I'd like less government in my life, not more government. It's watching us all the time, yes. All not the good. time, no. Do, do you feel that? It's like creepy. It's. I, I had some overseas tourists post that they liked Australia, but they didn't like being filmed all the time while they're on holidays. There's lots of things everywhere that are always watching us, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. They've got, like, good track on us, you know. They do, they do. And it's, I mean, a, bit, it's a bit scary. I found it weird that, well, my kids are grown up now, but when they were your age, they're walking around with their phones, and, and companies and the government are tracking where you're going as kids. It's very, very creepy anyway. We're just asking the question. Thanks for stopping, guys. Are you hungry? We've got some of these banana breads we need to get rid of. No, I'm all right. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Nobody I'm wants them. Thanks. Uh, okay, great. Hey, guys. You want to answer a quick question? I've got banana, free banana bread. What do you think about digital ID? Have you heard anything about it from the government? I don't know that. Wouldn't it be easy to fake them, though? Oh, it could be, like crypto money. Yep. Yeah, he knows, he knows more. Oh, yeah. I think they want to, uh, yeah. We... Cyber security. Uh -huh. Do you reckon it's possible to keep that sort of information safe, really? Not from me. No, no, exactly. That's what I reckon. Hey, you want some banana bread? You're trying to get rid of it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Hey, brother, you want to answer a quick question for me? Sure. It's for YouTube. We're just, in this country, we're getting a digital ID coming in, which could be linked to a digital currency. It could be linked to all the facial recognition software they're all putting in, it could be linked to like a social credit system, could be. Yeah. What do you think about that? <laughs> um, it, it, in this country, it just went through the Senate last week and it's going to get a house. Invasion, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, a lot of people have said to me, well, it'll be very handy and it would be handy. You won't have to put your money in your pocket, you just walk out of a supermarket. 
Yeah, it's. A, I think it's a little much. Yeah. I just don't trust the government, so that's my take on things. So I think they'll always use it for stuff they say they weren't going <laughs> to. Well, I'm from Canada. I don't know what the Australian, but I'm hearing a lot of negative reviews about the Australian government. Oh, well, so, we saw what happened yeah. in Canada as well, where they froze bank accounts and off the truck yeah. convoy protesters and things like that. So that, that's what the kind of thing they can do once they transition everyone to a digital currency. They can just say, well, You've been a bad boy. You don't get any money. Right? Yeah. They could just cut you off. That's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So that's a control mechanism I, I'm not, not, not looking forward to. But, uh, I'm hearing the Australian government, it's more like socialist almost. I would call it fascist because it's in, it's in conjunction with corporations. So to me, that says government and corporate is working together as fascism to me. A lot of other people say it's just straight out communism. They're just trying to get everyone. Uh, under control. Yeah, that might be pushing it, but... Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah sure. Well, thanks for coming yeah. out. You're here yeah. holiday in? Yeah. Oh, great. Well, I hope you have a good time. Thanks very much. Uh, no worries. Spend lots of time at the yeah. beach. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. See you in Canada. <laughs> it's free banana bread. I'm not joking. Yeah, look, I'll give it to you now. Because I'm trying to get rid of it and nobody wants it. I go, he wants some banana bread, and they go, oh, no, I'm okay. Yeah, I'll take some. Thank you. Yeah, you go for yeah, it. Thank you. Thanks. That's all right. Oh, yeah. Is there any uh, rat poison? Probably, but... <laughs> How much? Well, I, I, enough to keep the, the flour fresh in the factory <laughs> while they're making it. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, the question we're asking, and nobody knows anything about it, they've been very hush-hush about it. Last week in the Senate, uh, they pushed through the... Uh, uh, the Digital ID Bill 2023. Okay. Digital ID... ID bill 2023. Do you know anything about it? It's about to get probably put through the uh, House of Representatives and made into law that there'll be a, everyone will get a digital ID, which then could turn into, uh, they could hook that up with the facial recognition system, with the digital currency. Oh, yeah. I feel like a little bit about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah that, that's... Not enough to want it to be a law. Yeah. Not enough to want it to be a law, not yeah. lie. I mean, they're saying it's not mandatory. There's not okay. enough, like, public attention. I have no it. idea. I've just, yeah, there's not no, a lot of public attention. I don't know. It hasn't been spread. As, as long as it's not mandatory, I don't really Well, care. they said this wasn't mandatory. Remember this? When you didn't need to have a vaccine yeah. pass, that was madness that you'd need a vaccine pass, yeah. right? But sort of, it, it, it turned out to be kind of mandatory. If it's such a big law like that, I feel like, you know, you should give everyone a bit more information about it. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe have us discuss it. I mean, they keep... They seem to... The latest government seems to have been voted in by cheaper electricity prices or something. I'm not really sure, but... Then they've come out with the voice to parliament, they've come out with funding for Ukraine war, they've come out with now this digital ID, mandates, all this, it, yeah, it. I think, definitely, I think they got to be more, like, open with everyone. I think if you're uh, controlling, like, you're ruling a country, I think you just got to help other people tell them what's going on. Um, yeah, I think just more information, really. Yeah, it be transparent. Huh? Transparent with the rules and laws. Yeah, yeah. That's simple. But, when I was a kid, when I was your age, we were private individuals. We were private civilians, and the government was transparent because that's what governments are. Now that's been switched, and the government's all hush hush, and we're supposed to show her all our stuff about our private lives. So, yeah, I definitely, uh, I definitely look into it anyway. Yeah. But thanks for. I'll have a look into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta make sure that. I'll have to give a su subscribe to your channel with oh, the other content. Right. Yeah. What's it's, called called it's called Max Freedom. Max Freedom. Max Freedom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll give you guys Just a sub right now. Thank you. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so much. You. Awesome. Have a good day. Yeah, yeah you too, you. guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Which means every Australian's going to get a digital ID. Yay or nay? Um, <laughs> yay. Yay. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think it's a good thing? Because then if you lose your ID, you've got it digitally. So yeah. if you, for example, need your ID and a like a shop asks you for sure. your ID and you don't have it, you just have it on your phone because you yeah. always have your yeah. phone. Yeah, like you need to get places quickly that needs an ID, then you can just give it to them there. Sure, there's lots of positives. It's going to be very convenient. You'll be able to go into a, a supermarket and then just fill up your trolley and just walk out yeah. without having to pay anything. Do you think there are any downsides possible from that? Well, people could hack into your phone, I guess, and yeah. take your ID. Yeah, or into the government's database. Yeah, and then just, yeah, it's easier access to getting information, I guess. I don't believe, I've had a little bit to do with IT, I don't believe they can keep your data online private, do you? I've got no idea. Neither. No? No. All right. Well, look, yeah, have a look into it. 
Because it, it could be connected up to all the facial recognition cameras they've got running and digital currency. It could become a bit of a control thing and it might affect the youngsters like yourselves, so it'd probably be good to have a look into it. <laughs> you're probably look, you're looking a bit over it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Well, thanks for some. Uh, did you, can we get rid of these last two? You, you guys hungry? Sure. Sorry, I've only got two left. You'll have to share. That's the last ones. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for your time. Digital ID Bill 2023 passed through the Senate last week. Do you know anything about it? And so it's going to pass through the House of Reps. So it means that every Australian is going to get a digital ID now, which they'll need to open a bank account or maybe get paid or... Do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? Good and bad. Yes, it's, it is both. It's going to be very convenient. You could just find out everything about someone and then, but you know, yeah. 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 Yeah, so it's convenient, but it's easily hacked maybe, all your private data, that sort of deal. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think? I think it's bad. <laughs> I think it's bad. I think it's bad. I think it's really bad, but I would say that I'm that kind of person. Yeah. I think they've got too much. I mean, they're they're using these. They're putting cameras everywhere. They're using facial recognition. If they hooked it up to a digital ID, digital currency. They could really, yeah, you know, control everyone. I think. That's very bad. Okay. Good. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Look here to it, guys. Oh, yeah. Because it's going to affect you guys a lot because you're just, you know, youngsters. You're about to sort of really hit the, hit the world running. So, yeah, I would try and maybe be more private and just tell the government to get stuffed. What do you reckon? Thank you. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> the digital ID, digital ID bill 2023 passed the Senate last week. So it's probably... Uh, well, we are, not, we are clueless. Regarding yeah, no, most people are. Mm. That's, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, I barely have normal ID. <laughs> Same. I don't even have a driver's license anymore. And you've already given me some insight that you don't know anything about it, right? Yeah. yeah. Nothing. 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 And it just got through the Senate. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. We haven't seen it in the news also. No, oh. no you won't see it in the news. No. Oh, okay. So we think, well, I think that uh, uh, it could be connected to all the facial recognition uh, biometric systems that they've got running now which they have everywhere. Yeah. Also to your digital currency, if they bring that in, they're shutting down the banks. Yeah. So they're saying it's not mandatory, but I guess you won't be able to, it's be like this wasn't mandatory either, the VAX. But it turned out to be kind of mandatory, right? <laughs> so this one, you know, if you want to buy anything or a bank account or something, you'll have to have it. Do you think that's a good thing that we're getting more, more control by the government? I would prefer less control. Yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah. Wouldn't be an invasion of privacy too? Yeah. Also, I'm from an IT, a little bit of an IT background. Uh, you can't stop this information getting out. It's once it's online, that's it. It's yeah. if it's you know they can try to protect it in a database, whatever. But so yeah. So we're just worried that. So we're, we're, I'm I'm worried about um, them using it as a control system for, you know, if you're not a good. If you're not in their eyes a good person, that they don't let you spend it. That social social credit's core sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where uh, blockchain comes into the picture. Blockchain. Uh, yes. Yeah, that comes into the picture. You can pr protect your uh, privacy, have your data secured, and yes. things. So I think that's a really good innovation coming up to the yes. marketplace. And as, as long as it stays out of government control, though, because yeah. at the moment it's about sticking it to the man. Absolutely. We don't want control on that because yeah. we own our data and we don't want any interference in it. Yeah, yeah. And our money as well. Like, I can give you some money without the bank being involved, which would be perfect. Yeah. yeah. Money, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. yeah. So anyway, have a look into it because it's probably going to sure. get pushed through the uh, the House of Representatives. Okay. You know, because it's a bit of a fait accompli. But anyway, you haven't said much. <laughs> Poor lady, she told me that she's having trouble with a normal ID, let alone a digital ID. <laughs> it's not my problem. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> hey, thanks for taking the time to have a chat with me anyway. Sorry to interrupt. Lots of love. Have a look for uh, Max Freedom on YouTube. Okay? Thank you so much. <laughs> digital ID. Yeah. I think it's more convenient for like nowadays. For sure. Uh, It'll be. Oh yeah, it's a bit. No, no, you look good. It's a bit more of a problem because when like you're online and you know like buy stuff, it's more easier to like impersonate someone and uh, like steal someone's information. Yeah. Like 
but it's convenient these days. So convenient, yeah. And at the moment, the government's saying it's not going to be mandatory. Do you think that's going to be the case? I hope so, uh -huh. because uh, it's like identification <laughs> is good, but. Uh, it's, it's good to have some variety. Sure, sure. I'm hoping so too, but realistically, do you think that will be the case? Can I maybe ask you, what do you think? Uh, that they said this was going to be not mandatory. Remember the Vax Pass? They, and when I made this t-shirt, this was a couple of years ago, and people thought I was nuts, because why would there be a Vax Pass? You know, it's just crazy. But it, it eventually came to be, didn't it? You had to have a pass to go certain places. So to even transact or have money or whatever, Maybe the digital idea, I think they're going to make it mandatory, even though they're saying no. Yeah. It's going to affect you guys more, I think, because you've got a whole lot of work ahead of you. Mm, yeah. Sorry to... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. Wait, what was the question? Oh, the question is, uh, yeah, so um, do you think it's going to be mandatory? They're saying it's not mandatory, just like they said this was not going to be mandatory, this. Probably will, I'm not too sure. Sure. Uh, you, maybe? Yeah, you got it. You ideally, were hoping it not. ideally, it should not be. Yeah, but... ideally, yeah. But you think it will be? Yeah, I think it will. Yeah. yeah. Anything else? Uh, oh, look, thanks for your time. Uh, really yeah. appreciate it. It's okay. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> and it's he's, so got a, he's got a uh, YouTube channel called Max Freedom. Max so Freedom. just have a look on that channel on YouTube. Okay. Thank you so much, Thank ladies. You. Appreciate your, your thoughts. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Hey, gents, could I ask you a quick question? Sorry to interrupt. We're just asking people for YouTube what they think about digital ID. Very open-ended question. Digital ID. Yeah. They haven't broadcasted a lot, but it passed the Senate like last few days, and it's going to go to the uh, House of Reps, probably be voted in. I mean, on the one hand, I think it would be very convenient. It, very, very, very convenient. Unless, you know, you wanted to spend some of your money and you weren't a good boy and they suddenly decided to not let you spend your money. Uh, that sort of deal. What form will it come in? Well, you, they've already got all the um, facial recognition software running, so we're being tracked all the time anyway. And that's hooked up to your bank account, so all the bank branches are closing because they don't want people using cash anymore. So they want to transition us to a digital currency. And then, of course, the social credit score, where if you haven't been a good person, according to the government, uh, you they can program that digital currency so you can't spend it on, for example, travel or whatever your favourite thing is. I don't know, but you know, it's, so it's it's very um, it's uh, it's 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 Orwellian. It's just another extension. And also, they're saying it's not mandatory. You remember when, this, when they were saying that the vax wasn't mandatory and the vax passes weren't mandatory? Do you remember that? They turned out to be kind of mandatory, don't you reckon? I'm speaking too much, so I really want to know what you think. To, to, to some extent, I guess they, they weren't mandatory on paper, but in a roundabout way, in they the were. In the real world. He's got some good opinions about that. Oh, uh, yeah? Oh, cool. Go on, unload, please. Oh, um, I'm free banana bread for really good answers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my answer would be very political, I oh, think. Oh, no, good, good. Which would be, uh, I'd like to have a, all the positives with none of the negatives. Yeah. So the tracking is obviously the negative part. Mm. But I'll say that for me personally, it's outside my circle of control, so I'm not going to worry about it. Sure, sure. Yeah. Well, it's probably right. There's probably not much we can do about it. Late. Yeah. You think there's no way to get, like, even though they say it's not mandatory, is there any way out of getting it, do you think? Uh, any realistic way out. I think that this was the exercise of the mandate, and those, that's where we saw those parts of the legislation get exercised for an emergency situation. Yeah, yeah. So I think that this horse has bolted. Sure. So lean in, lean into it. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> lean into it. The, it's hard as well because get, like, get the chip. It's hard as well because, like for instance, if there's a catalyst, like there was with COVID, but yes. food was it again? No. Well, or a fly? Well, it's like yesterday like they enacted the terror laws or something. Exactly. Yeah. So if there's a catalyst, say with facial recognition, mm. which wasn't really a thing with surveillance cameras, and then all of a sudden, they had to have facial recognition improve with masks. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's because there's COVID. Yeah. So we have to have that facial recognition just through your eyes. Yeah. And so it's like, we're like, oh, digital ID, it's not good. But then there's some catalyst and it's kind of like an we inevitable saw, thing. We saw the, um, we saw the practice exercise, I think. Which was COVID. At least in, in let's say at the worst in Victoria. But uh, my best insight for this would be in uh, the second Batman, which one is it, with Christian Bale. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, I'd love to have a Morgan Freeman install a shutdown button because it is uh, unbelievably bad for humankind. Out of, out of I just, I hope that 
Morgan Freeman comes along and <laughs> installs a uh, shut down this whole thing because that level of surveillance. Sure. What's, what's I think we. Like? I think anyone who wants to opt out just needs to do that. Just needs to say no. I say no quite a lot. Well, no, not facial rec recognition, but yeah. as in you could literally, uh, you could say, I <laughs> decline. A a what I would love to see, slightly related, is the capacity to request that your information be deleted. Uh -huh. Not just from Facebook, Google, but like from the government as well, kind of like based on good behaviour. Like it's like, okay. as in you can consent in, but if you consent out, right. your data gets deleted. Yeah. But Are you worried about more data being held by the government about you? Because I, I had a little bit to do uh, in 2016 with the census and I actually, well, I, I, I sent a letter complaining to them that you're going to get hacked to the Australian Bureau of Statistics. And that was the actual, uh, that was the narrative the next day that they got hacked. Um, it was, you know, nothing they could do. They got hacked. Do you think, because I used to work in IT, I don't believe there is anything you can hide on the internet. You can't keep anything safe. That's my opinion. So having our whole entire lives, our money, everything hooked on online and uh, recognised by cameras or not, I, I just don't think it's a good idea. Uh, but yeah. Well, it's, yeah, it's definitely. I mean, <laughs> I think that's, that's the, I think that's a fact. It's yeah. definitely... A we had terrible some terrible idea, but yep. the, what's the the police? It's it, it, it show show me the person, and I will tell you the crime. Mm. If you watch someone for long enough, sure, they're yeah, going. To, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's like also there's more and more and more crimes every year. They don't repeal any of the other laws. They just keep adding more laws. Yeah, it's very difficult to get away with doing anything without committing some sort. If I rose my voice right now, I, I I was <laughs> well, I was arrested right here last week for for supposedly talking. So, <laughs> so, I mean, just, like, <laughs> yeah, sure. free speech mm. is very important to me, but yeah. I mean, I feel like it's, it's gone, but I mean, I'm just trying to think of a solution. Yeah. I think it's just, I think, uh, I think the only one is literally, well, look, you don't even need to do that. You just need to grab your license, your driver's license. And you just need to put a pair of scissors through that. Yeah. And everyone needs to do that. Because they're kind of using that as the control mechanism for everything. If you've got a fine and you haven't paid it, oh, your license goes. If you uh, are disorderly on the street, nothing to do with driving, your license goes. So they use that as the control re mechanism. So I, I think we all need to give up our government issued licenses. We can issue ones to ourselves once we've worked out that you can drive and you can drive and I can drive. We'll all issue each, each other one, that's fine. But to have it linked to this control system whereas if you supposedly do the wrong thing i think is it, I've, I've been thinking about this my whole life thinking what how fucked it is but now it's come to a head i think that's a good thing about COVID. it's brought to a head how fucked all that stuff is and that they're just going to go overreaching a bit more unless we say no we're i think it's possible to say we're definitely more aware of it we are more aware of it aren't we yeah I think of all people it was uh andrew tate that seemed to uh, circumvent it by having six <laughs> licenses in six different countries and he'll just show you one from a different country and they can't be bothered policing it i think yeah uh, as long as there's different jurisdictions internationally we might have a chance mm. so we can as in well jurisdictions an interesting word i've asked a lot of police and, and magistrates here in wa where do they get their authority from where's your evidence of jurisdiction they don't have any so it's, it's, it, what do we do about that? It's just all pretend and, and by the way, we've got guns. That's, that seems to be the jurisdiction. Interesting. Yeah. I was thinking more, <laughs> li literally there's a, because like people, Andrew Tate was sure. the one that, and I was like, you know, he says some terrible things. And some of the things he's done is absolutely genius. That is one of the rare ones where it was like, different licenses. it literally has six licenses or something. Mm. And it was like, <laughs> that, He's circumvented it. He's found a loophole. Sure. It's about convenience though, isn't it? So like, if, if these digital IDs come in and then there's a sort of eventually an evolution of such inconvenience to not have it. Just like the mandates. Yeah, eventually you'll have enough people yeah. and it'll be like a herd mentality and you'll get a certain proportion of people that would be doing it. A certain disproportion of people that are so inconvenienced by not doing it yeah. that eventually people will just give up. Also, there's another avenue. They're just simply, they're not banning cash or cancelling. They're just removing all the ATMs and, and businesses like Krispy Kreme are no longer uh, accepting it. So they're just basically, yeah, yeah, by yeah. stealth, they're getting rid of cash. Getting rid of it, yeah. 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 
That's interesting. Tracking. Yeah, privacy would be great. Yeah, I'm, I read I'm sick of being online. filmed. I read about privacy online. <laughs> when I was a kid, great. government <laughs> government was public. We had to know everything about government. And people walking down the street, we were private. Right? That's when I was a kid. We had our private lives and government needed to be open and transparent because that's what government is. Now, government's a secret. We're not allowed to know about government. We're not allowed to say certain things. And our, all our privacy lives are, are completely out there and government needs to know it all. And I'm just not going to go along with that. And so I'll just be one person. You'd rather yeah. Google, you're happy with Google having it? or God, no, no. Google keeps pulling my videos for no reason. With my live videos. Uh, and then it says that the uploader has deleted the video. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't delete those videos, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, it I'm just sure all happens it. like that. This is fascism where corporate and government work together. This is the definition of fascism, where they work together. So it, it's not the government stopping me from uploading to YouTube. It's, it's me breaking YouTube's rules, okay? And um, so that's how they get away with pretty much everything. It's Elon not the Musk. government. Maybe Elon Musk will take take YouTube yeah, over as well as Twitter. Maybe. <laughs> good man. Good man. I'm back yeah. Elon. There we go. Elon's yeah. the answer. Follow that. Some guy. good things for Elon, but yeah, some things on Twitter are still yeah. We're still getting shadow banned on Twitter, but anyway, X. on X, yeah, yeah, but um, really? yeah, yeah. yeah so that's sneaky. It, I saw a lot of people uh, that I follow on Instagram. A lot of doctors disappear. Yeah. And I was uh, I was like, what? So yeah, shadow banning. Yeah, Jordan Peterson getting banned. I was like, yeah. is anyone actually listening to what you're saying? It's, like, it's no, quite non-inflammatory. Yeah. yeah. I was like, Doc, what, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. Uh, just get with the narrative. Just go with the flow. <laughs> <laughs> put, put thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> you're so right. I'm, I'm Steve. Have, thank you. Good I to meet you. Yeah, have a look at us on uh, Max Freedom YouTube. Max, Max Freedom. Yeah, yeah. Thanks very much. Hey. Appreciate, it, guys. Appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, thanks very much.